Osteopathic diagnosis and treatment of rib dysfunction may be beneficial for patients who have respiratory disorders, including pneumonia, asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and emphysema. Respiration is a biomechanical endeavor requiring the normal motion of the diaphragm, the ribs, and the sternum. These structures move so as to increase or decrease the size of the thorax, generating positive and negative pressures necessary for respiration. Ribs 1 through 5 move mostly in a pump handle motion, ribs 6 through 10 in a bucket handle motion, and ribs 11 and 12 in a caliper type motion. Diseases such as COPD that alter the size and shape of the thorax, including hyperinflation and an increased anterior-posterior diameter, have a significant effect on anatomic structures and respiratory mechanics. The diaphragm, which connects to ribs 6 through 12, becomes flattened with altered length tension relationships decreasing its ability to contract and inspirational efficiency. Osteopathic manipulative treatment may be beneficial for patients with COPD through its effect on the musculoskeletal aspects of the thoracic cage. Somatic dysfunction may impede function in the work of respiration. Diagnosis of structures including ribs, the thoracic spine, the diaphragm, and accessory muscles of respiration should be performed. One technique that may be utilized to affect rib somatic dysfunction is balanced ligamentous tension technique. This gentle technique can easily be used in the hospital or office setting and used as an indirect or direct technique in any age group from the infants to elderly. Diagnosis can first be made in the seated or supine patient by observing quiet respiration and looking for areas of decreased rib motion. Take a big deep breath in and exhale. A gentle springing motion can then be used on each rib to assess for compliance and ability to move. Finally, bucket handle, pump handle, and caliper motion may be assessed for motion in inhalation and exhalation. Looking for inhaled rib dysfunction, those that remain inhaled during the patient's active exhalation, or exhaled rib dysfunction, those that remain in exhalation during the patient's active inhalation. Take a big deep breath in and exhale. Take a big breath in and exhale. Take a big breath in and exhale. And one more big breath in and exhale. Once a dysfunctional rib is diagnosed, you may begin the treatment by sitting next to the seated or supine patient on the affected side. Contact the rib with both hands, one following the anterior aspect of the rib and the other following the posterior aspect of the rib. The thumbs can gently rest on top of each other near the mid-axillary line. A firm contact should be made with the rib as the patient slowly rotates their torso towards you until you palpate a point of balanced tension in the rib. This position is held as the patient breathes. Inhalation can be utilized and held by the patient in order to further facilitate balanced tension. Maintain this position through several cycles of breath or until you feel the rib release and then reassess. This technique may be modified by allowing the patient to side bend away from you, applying a slight anterior lateral force on the rib or further balancing tension around the rib by inducing elevation, depression, or anterior posterior translation. Contraindications for this technique include fracture over the rib, bony metastasis, infection near the area, over a post surgical site, arterial lines, or drains. This treatment technique is very gentle and uses rib biomechanics and inherent forces, including respiration, in order to restore motion, improving respiratory mechanics, and potentially decreasing pain. Utilization of OMT in patients with COPD as an adjunctive treatment option allows us to address both the lung parenchymal disease as well as the biomechanics of the thorax, both of which are important for adequate respiration.